Hey guys, so I recently got in um, some parts <clears throat> for my Craig self-titled helmet. I've got all the nails in there. I've got uh, the MBU right here. This originally was green, but I dyed it, and it's basically impossible to tell that it was ever green. Um, other than these fabric straps. This thing had fabric straps on it, but I cut them off, and um, I have some rubber ones on the way that I'm gonna, I might have to dye as well. Hopefully not, I don't know. But... Um, yeah, it's great. I have the marks marked out for the uh, holes. It came with a nose cup, everything, even a hose. Obviously, I cut all that off because I didn't need it. Um, scored this off of eBay. So, uh, yeah. Basically, um, here's the helmet. Uh, it's a U3 cast, obviously. Um, made by Ian Lundquist. Um, I would not recommend buying one of these from him. They're fine helmets, but unless you want to wait a couple months and pay a ton of money, um, I would recommend that you wait until Michael Dufresne or um, Tyler Reed, Destination Inc., and then Michael obviously is from MB Studios, do theirs. Maybe a while, but I would wait, really. I wouldn't recommend getting them from Ian. It was kind of hell trying to get this. So um, I would just recommend that you really wait. So, um, yeah. Once I get the straps for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strap that, get the holes in, put this on the MBU, and then I can start using the tape to mark out where the um, chip paint is because I am doing a very late self-titled helmet. Um, and then I can you know, detail the MBU, get the, uh, the nails in. I'll drill this, um, but uh, yeah, should be cool. Well, I'm not going to do a video on the conversion process. Probably just going to do it on the, uh, on the finished product. I might not be done for like a week since I need the straps for this. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Hope you guys liked the video. And, uh, see you when this guy's complete or when I do another video. Also, I figured I'd recommend, or I figured I'd mention, I do have these James Root Volume 3 and All Hope is Gone Version 2 sculpt masks. This one has very large cut eyes for the late or for the All Hope is Gone masks. I do offer them with, uh, obviously, the smaller eyes for Volume 3, but I do these blanks. $89. They are SLM finished on my Etsy as well as um, uh, blank. So yeah, go check out my Etsy, Ian 6 Facts, nothing different. And pick one up. Peace.